welcome back to Fort Mort, guys. All right, today, so we're going against, a, obviously, a new opponent. I think he's a little outmatched. Normally, they match me up a lot better. I'm usually the underdog. Today, we're going against Skellix183. We did uh, chat back and forth a little bit. Show you that real quick. Uh, just wanted to say good luck in GA today. He said, same to you. And then, literally, I came back on this morning. I just got off a 13-hour shift at work. And I was like, all right, I got to get this done because I got to get to bed to work tonight. And I pop on and it says great defense sets, hard choices ahead. And that was one minute ago at that time. I'm like, oh, man, that guy's going in right now. And sure enough, he was. So going in here, we'll look at the GA. He's attacked a couple of times already. He successfully took out my Jedi Knight Revan on his first try. And then he struggled with Padme. Look at my top defense here. I don't usually go full defensive sets, but I got a good tip from my friend research and strategy as you guys know from me i like to do my research on my opponents if you watch my previous videos you know my strategies I'll, i'm not going to go through all that today if you want to see it i'll make sure to link the video up top of uh, my last one which was a prep video so looking at this guy right here he's got two million uh, character gp power and typically i look at their statistics from grand arena because if you guys click on here you can see stats and you'll see he's got eight promotions earned. The reason he's only got eight, I found out later on by looking at some other stuff. He's about 50-50 if he's going to attack or not. Sometimes he doesn't attack. So I don't know if it's a work schedule. I don't know. So 95 uh, offensive wins and 59 defense, which normally would tell me he's a little more defensive. But then I decided to go on his GAC history and found that he's actually a little bit more offensive. So his stats aren't quite reading that way, which I think might be because he doesn't he doesn't play a lot. Actually, that is why it is. So he's got 59 defends because he does. He plays about 50% of the time. So he's his opponent's always attacking, which means he's defending. But if he's not attacking himself, he's not get, getting offensive wins. So that makes total sense. So I'm so glad I looked at his because he didn't have nearly as many attempts as me. I knew that there was a possibility either he was new to GA or he doesn't often participate in the GA. So like I said, I found later on, which I'll show you in a second. So we're looking at this and his, his highest score ever is 20,275, which that pretty much said he's either no good or he only attacks part of the time, which is the case. I don't think it was a case of him not being any good. He just attacks part of the time. So you'll see that statistic there. Then I'll go into his lineup. I looked at uh, what he's got. He's got Jedi Knight Revan. He's got an Empire team, First Order. Uh, I know Bastia, Sh Bastia Sh I can't even speak this morning. I'm so tired. BS Fallen is going to take out my bugs more than likely, but that's okay. I put him on defense. And I looked at his line because I'm outgunning him so much, I decided to go all my best teams, defensive teams on defense. He just didn't match up. And then he was really, really slow on his, he's really, really high offensive, but really, really slow. So I'll show you this real quick. GP wise, I've got him by 3 million. But the big stat, the big differences are right here. He is better geared from the G12. So he did have me outmatched there. And then speed mods, I had him crushed. I almost, I have double his actually. On plus 10 mods, excuse me. He did have double mine in offensive mods. So I've only got 14 plus 100. He's got 29. And then the other thing I looked at, and I chose to do it this week, is I looked at his GAC history. His GAC, his GAC history told me he almost always plays Jedi Knight Revan and Palp on offense. He also plays Night Sisters on offense and Imp Troopers uh, on offense. Then I looked at his defense, and not just one week, but I looked at all the weeks that were listed. And it basically showed me that on defense, he typically plays Bounty Hunters, CLS, Phoenix, First Order, and I can't even read my handwriting. So I knew, I pretty much knew he was very predictable what I needed to go on defense with to beat him. Anyway, enough chatter. You guys can watch the other video. We're going to go ahead and get this started, see if my opponent's done any more attacking. Okay, so he's either waiting on me or he's done. And I'll just say this, I did work all night, so this is my evening. Cheers. Don't judge me because it's 10 o'clock in the morning. All right. You guys saw my squads already, all my best offense. I put some weak defenses. I put Newt in the back, he's always a pest. And then my Phoenix in the rear there. He's got 
a small rebel team, a small clone team up front. That's two of the ones he typically plays. He always has uh, Stormtrooper Han in the lead. He always plays the Boba Fett lead with the Bounty Hunters, and he does play the Resistance as well. We're going to go ahead and take out the Resistance with the Night Sisters. I don't know this battle, but I anticipate that it will, should go pretty well. I know how to play the Sisters pretty well. Just wish I knew Resistance a little better. I know they got their uh, Exposes. All right, let's have at it. Good luck, Mort. What am I now? 53 and 1. So let's keep that streak alive. Keep the streak alive. Jedi style. All right, let's lay some defense down. I have a tendency to take out the weaker opponents first. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can stun the taunt. Yes, that's a good start. Lay some play. Get that train started. If you guys haven't seen how to play the Night Sisters, look for that video. It's freaking amazing. I learned so much myself doing research. It's awesome. So right now I'm going to play this, put Stagger and it lays uh, extra Plague on. This will lay some Plague on. Basically she's going to die on her own now. So as long as she doesn't come up to a turn, I'm going to let her die off. Uh, let's see, we can add some Plague with this ability as well. She's pretty strong for that level. Maybe 8 he doesn't have any Plague, so we'll go ahead and hit here. There she went. Now she had Plague on her. So I use that ability, it actually hits everyone with Plague. I'm telling you, you guys gotta watch this video, it's freaking awesome. All right, ooh, nice dodge. Let's see if we can stun him again. Didn't get the break that time. So far, so good. We took little Ray out, she hits pretty hard. We'll go ahead and work on the softy Han Solo. This ability right here, if you lose any of your Night Sisters, if it's a killing shot, that one I just used, brings back your Night Sisters. Let's remove all that BB-8 buff. Now I understand why the Night Sisters are so good against these guys. Uh, let's see if we can stun old Ray. Yes, now that she doesn't have foresight. All those guys right there just took damage because they had Plague. There's more to this Night Sister team, but you gotta see it. Any special ability should lay Plague right here. I don't need the heal, but I'm gonna use it anyway. There's two, another stack on each. This is gonna put another stack on each. Seven and three, of course, unless it's resisted like BB-8 just did. Uh, let's see, I don't need to use the revive, but I'm gonna use it anyway because it lays stacks and Finn will die here in just a second. All right, he just killed himself with the plague. Very sweet, easy round. Let's see, this, I don't think this is enough to kill BB-8, but we'll see. So by targeting this person here with plague, whoever else got plague, this one will hit as well. Watch his health. Okay, look at it, he almost died. He almost had enough. Let's see, BB-8 I guess is the right target here. One more time and he's done. Thank you, Zombie, for keeping up the taunt, my friend. Let's lay some more Plague up. Some more Plague, remove the buff, and finish her. Excellent round. Now, the Night Sisters, I don't typically put on offense because, as you see right here, they don't hold banners very well because they lose their protection. Revive, revive, revive. They never get their protection back. So I like to play them on defense, but because I saw Ray and the way he was set up, I saved them for offense, and it paid off. Another reason to do your homework is when if you're on GG, which I don't mind my opponents looking at, and if anybody, if I ever get big enough to where people know my channel, I really don't care because I'm always going to plan for them. I never have the same lineup. I use all my teams on offense and defense. All right, Bounty Hunters. We're gonna go ahead and fire up with Palpatine, 78K versus an 80K Palpatine. I've got him in speed, so this should not be an issue. Pending my being tired and doing something stupid. All right, Bounty Hunters, I'll have to take the weakest one out. I usually look up their life pools, and I didn't this time, but it looks like Greedo will probably be it. Plus, I don't like Greedo being on the map. Sorry if you hear my dog back there. I gave her a bone, but it didn't last long. Uh, ability block. Let's remove... Actually, let's see if we can get it on boss. Keep that taunt off. Nope. Let's see if we can remove turn meter here with the rain of pain. Yes, we did. Very good. We're going to hit boss with that stuns up 
Old Boba Fett didn't stun, so he's taking my protection off, you rat bastard. Alright, let's see if we can get Greedo down. Like I said, I almost feel bad. This was, I mean, when I first looked at his teams, he had a pretty diverse lineup, but then I realized his speed, and it was just like, wow, I think this is going to go pretty well. I think we can take Bosk out with this. What do you think? Yeah. Ability block. Nope, still not getting that one. My potency's high, too. It's crazy. Oh, actually, I take that back. That was Vader. My potency's not high. I lied. Hmm. Let's boost Vader. You can see just the turn meter train building up, building up, building up. Boba is pretty tough due to his G12. There's a stun on him. Let's go ahead and wipe him out. Restart him. Remove the turn meter. Although it missed Dengar. My Darth Maul is super squishy, but this team seems to be able to keep him alive. And get Boba out of there. Come on. Goodbye, Boba. Finish off Dangar. You enjoying that bone, Coco? Sounds like it. The whole world's going to hear it. And finishing blow. Alright, that went well. Again, not max banners, but it doesn't really matter because I am not really concerned about max banners. I'm concerned about the the win and I have out strategized my opponent. See what's in the rear here. E walks. I like it. Alright. I was planning on using Nest against the clones. I'm going to have love Nest against the Ewoks. It's a guaranteed win. So, I may replan the clones. Actually, this is an easy decision. Let's go ahead and get Nest our... Uh, oh, and this GA, guys, and I've said it in the other video, 180 up front, 150 in the back. So if you can, you're better off. Don't go from front to rear. Go side to side, because it's more banners. Plus, you've got two teams in each one. So for this area... I can get a max of 300 without undersized squads, while back here I can only get a max of 210. So keep that in mind. Don't be greedy. Be smart. All right. Get off my soapbox here. I don't think I know it all. I just I plan and I strategize. I'm trying to teach. Oh, one thing I want to check. Potency on low gray. See if he's going to be able to land a daze. He has got a very high potency. Just for Nest himself. So, I have got a secret weapon. I'm going to add the 45% tenacity from Luke's Skywalker Farm Boy, which will put me over 200, which easily keeps Low Gray from landing his day. So, here we go. I will sacrifice one banner, but again, I don't mind. The goal here is to take out Elder, if possible. The nice thing about Nest is she ignores Taunt, so Papu won't really matter. It'd be pretty funny if Luke Skywalker made it through this fight. Not. Nah, Aya. Sound like a wounded cat there. I think they all do it. All right, let's see if we can crack Elder here. Ooh, nice dodge. That's the one tip, guys. Watch Low Gray, because that daze, the one thing about Ness, you don't want her stunned or dazed. It's the worst thing that can happen. You can let these guys can have turn meter, can have high speed against you, whatever, it doesn't matter. Her the daze is killer because she's gotta be able to get a turn. Usually if I have to bring her in, I bring her with Kira, but in this case the tenacity is the key. I said I think I believe my Ness is 161 tenacity, so that put me at 206. His low gray had 79. So even at 100, 179, you had 100. He's still 22 away from being able to land that day, so I'm in the safe zone. And her automatic retribution crushes these Ewoks because they attack so much and so fast with the turn meter. All right, another easy win. 59 banners. All right, so I've never played this one, but out of curiosity, I'm going to go ahead and go with the Ewoks versus the Rebels and see how that goes. My Ewoks are higher. What were they, 70k? Let's see what I got left. I've got CLS, 
bounty hunters, very high, and my Ewoks and my Introopers. The Introopers don't normally do very well versus the Rebels, so I'm not even going to bother with that. Alright, let's try the Ewoks, see what happens here. Even if I lose, I think I'm in the safe zone with this one. Alright, so I want to Stealth, Elder, AoE, I'm sure Leia will go under Stealth here in a second. Turn meter, see if I can get her out before she gets there. Yes! Let's get Paplu with a crush on there and get a taunt. Oh, this looks too easy, kids. Full attack. Oh my. And a secondary attack. Well done. He hides under stealth. Now he's got two tanks left. I think I'm in the safe zone. I'm not even going to do this. I'm going to auto. This is cakey cake. <clears throat> teams like this, you don't know what you're dealing with. Unless you know the teams real well because they're not on the counter list. You can look up CLS, but CLS's abilities are so unique to the Rebel team that you don't even know if it'll help. Alright, just over a minute on that fight, mainly because I played it. Another 55 banners. Clones team, they're pretty weak because they don't have a Shock T. But, let's see. I've got two big teams left, so let's go ahead and get full banners and knock them out. Should be a pretty clean sweep. I don't anticipate anything big in the back, and even if there is, I'm sure CLS can handle it. Let's see, let's go ahead and get our contract if we can. Wow, he died fast. That was pretty sick. Gotta make sure Rex doesn't come back. Cody in the lead. Got our contract quick as fire. <laughs> All pun intended. Greedo, only one shot. Come on, man. It's supposed to be greedy. Go ahead and tank. Make sure we don't lose any protection. Get our health protection up to get us full banners. See if we can hit two. Oh, we got one. And super easy fight. 60 full banners. Well done. Could have undersized that, but I'm not being greedy. First order in the rear. CLS. He did go a little bit bigger in the back. Why in the world? Oh, he doesn't have officer. Finish this up. Chewy, 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 chewy. All right, Han too. Stun ain't gonna do any good because it's not gonna remove taunt. Uh, let's see. Guess we're just gonna have to go straight at him. Oh, there it goes. Fell off. Who do we want to take? We'll take the easy one. Let's see. Let's get him with confusion. AOE from Chewy. I think I didn't get an assist shame so glad this went quick I want to get to bed this week I plan on doing uh, a couple of videos I'm gonna spend a lot of time working on them it's informational get away from GA a little bit I like to put the GAs out there because I do get some information in there for you guys but oh that was stupid Mistargeted. targeted but that's all right I'm not concerned Let's see get everybody under stealth yeah just to play games must be tired. Get out of there. Yeah, he's getting health back. CLS always gives it back. I lost a strong battle because of that. Learned a hard lesson with uh, Kylo Ren. Confusion up there. AOE for the fun of it. That removes his retribution. Good night, Fox. Go ahead and get rid of Ren. He's a stubborn one, too. This is a tough one. Because some of these guys' attacks actually heal both of these guys. So I hate taking CLS for his first order. Aggravating. More confusion. Power up. AOE. Hmm. I need to learn the CLS kit better so I'm not so I know how to take out. Ren. See, that's C-3PO just healed the shit out of him. Han barely did anything. Alright, that ability does. They usually end up timing my ass out. There we go again. Damn. It's grind shame when you got a 100k team versus an 80k team. You can't even beat him. You get timed out. But, 
the great thing about this game is there are some teams that can't beat other teams. Uh, what we got left here? Womp. Womp. Let's do Womp. Just for the fun of it. M troops are taking him out in a heartbeat, but we'll do this. Womp. Womp. Mm. Womp. I just got him. I love him. Love that hit. All right, well, disappointing on that back end. I forgot all about first order, but the rest of them went well. So 1524 to 598. I don't know if he's going to come back and try, uh, but good game. Like I said, he was you were outmatched for sure. I kind of feel bad in third round. I should have been matched better. GAs and Capital Games has done a better job in the past of uh, matching up, but it is kind of nice to get an easier win once in a while. Anyway, guys, I appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you learned something from it. I relearned, do not take CLS against both the Wrens because you're an idiot if you do. Again, thank you guys for joining the channel. Look forward to the videos this week. And please, if you haven't, like and subscribe. All right, you guys are awesome. Have a good day. Shut up and sit down.